patronade. Okay, so I just do this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> wait, a, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait, if he summons Cyber Slash, he just attacks over Sheen and I lose. Uh oh. What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little deck profile, and this time, when I say fun, I really mean fun, this deck is really cool. So it's 6 Samurai with the new Zexal Xyz Evolution skill, um, so it's basically just a rank 4 spam 6 Samurai, um, with a skill that basically guarantees that you resolve Utopia Ray effect, um, which is really nice, because Utopia Ray... If, you ha if your opponent has a face-up 3,000 attack or less monster, you will attack them for 4,000 every single time. Um, and when you pair that with like a Sheen on the field to negate a back row that your opponent would have to stop that, it gets really good. Um, we are also playing the skill, the trap card backs to the wall. Now this is a 6 Samurai specific trap card that puts you on 100 life, which is risky, but it's basically Soul Charge. Um, so for those who don't know what Soul Charge is, it's like a notoriously ridiculous spell card in the seat in the tcg it's basically monster reborn for one to five cards um and you pay 1000 life points for every monster that you summon um so this said this card says pay until you have 100 life points left which is either 3900 or if you have 150 life you just pay 50 life and then soul charge back up to three different six samurais um but you can't summon the same name and you can't summon names of of what you already have on the field uh, so if you have a Sheen on the field, you can't summon a Sheen from the grave, essentially, etc. for all of these. Um, so you can summon up to three. Say you summon like Kizan, Kazaru, and uh, Doji. It's really cool. So I'm playing the one Doji because when you when this is on the field and another six Samurai is normally specialed, you get to dump a six Samurai. So this sets up the backs to the wall more frequently uh, or just gives you a bigger backs to the wall summon. And it's just another level four name for the backs to the wall to summon. So that's pretty cool. So you could like play a three legendary secret six Samurai, but they only have four targets for it whereas if you play the doji you'd have now have five targets and you get the foolish burial um, but everything else is pretty standard i'm playing the one anishi as opposed to do, two dojo uh just because this is rank four spam and i i just want to be able to resolve anishi effect to bounce uh still three united and then i'm playing two dual wield as well uh we're playing the excalibur and the blade armor ninja finally making use of this because this is a great warrior deck um i haven't played six samurai since these came out so being able to use these is really nice and then we have the one Utopia Ray and the one Utopia, and then Malevolent Sin as well. So uh, so the skill says when your life wounds are at 2,000 or less at the start of your turn. So that you make sure you're using this on your opponent's turn if you want to resolve the skill on your next turn. Because you'll transform into Zexel at the start of your turn. And then you can activate the skill to make your life points back to 2,000 uh, and place Xyz Change Tactics in your Spell and Trap Zone. Um, and Xyz Change ta Tactics allows you to pay... 500 life points whenever you summon a Utopia Xyz monster to draw a card. Uh, so you'll go back up to 2,000, you'll summon Utopia, pay 500, draw a card, you'll summon Utopia Ray, pay 500, draw a card, and now you're at the 1,000 or below threshold to resolve Utopia Ray's effect. And you can still technically resolve a second backs to the wall if the duel goes beyond that turn, which is really nice. So that being said, grab your coffees, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to jump right into some duels. So stick around for this crazy deck. Ooh, up against the human astral. A lot of people have been playing this skill, um, and I've also been seeing like this deck creep up more and more. Uh, shout outs to Pl I, I think it was Playmaker. Um, I was looking on YouTube, and I think that was the first one I saw, but maybe he took it from somebody else. Um, but uh, shout out to Playmaker if it was him who had the idea. So um, activate Dojo, normal summon at level four, summon Fuma, make Shien pretty standard six samurai plays. Um, and then on the following turn, we will be able to trigger backs to the wall, summon both of these back. Um, and then we'll be able to make another Xi'an potentially and set up our Zexel skill. So that's pretty cool. Pass it back to him. That's fine. I think we just wait for the um, Egotist. Potentially. Patronade. Okay, so I just do this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> Wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, if he summons Cyber Slash, he just attacks over Sheen and I lose. Uh-oh. 
Okay, oh, okay, so he's okay, good. So he summoned Perfumer, so he negate the Egotist, and I think we just win. Unless he has two Egotist. Okay, I think we're okay. I think <laughs> I think we're okay, boys. Whew. Low risky, low risky, risky, risky. Yeah, I gotta stop the channeler from coming out. Although technically either A has another egotist or B has Swallow's Nest into Channeler into discard a heartbeat. That either one would do it. No! Please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't you do it. No. Oh man, that was so greedy. Oh well. I'll let him do it. Wait, maybe does he see it? Yeah, he sees it. Yeah. No, destroy this instead. I don't want to die. Oh, rip. That's funny. All right, that's funny. I'll keep that in. Let's do another. All right, we're up against the U Bell. We're going second. Our hand is not too shabby. This is Doji Summon Secret. Doji Effect Send Kizan or Doji Effect Send Kizaru or Anishi, and then Special Kizan. And that's a rank four with a Kizan. So I mean, if he just like summons a monster pass, we can go Malevolent Sin. Banish with Kizan on the field, and that'll be lethal, potentially. He sent one, two, three. So, duo coming down. He's going to discard Hawk, summon Raiden, Synchro for Onomaru. Interesting. Okay, so what does that do? What does that mean for us? Nothing, really, right? I don't think that really means anything. Oh, we got United. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to go Doji. Um... If I can draw another Kizan, I can make two rank fours. And that might be the ball game. So there's the Doji. I'm going to summon... Uh, yeah, I'm going to send something with Doji. Uh, activate Doji. Give myself a higher chance of drawing a Kizan. Because if I send this, I have a, big, a greater chance of drawing Kizan. Or I could draw United with this, potentially. Ooh, there it is. There's the Kizan. Nice keys on off the top. That makes I can Doji again. Huh, that's kind of cool. I'll Doji again. Send Fuma. It's not once per turn. The more you know, reading Rainbow. Okay, so I'm gonna special. Um, a special. Uh, yeah, Malevolent Sin by using Kizan and Secret. I'm going to special another Kizan. Trigger Doji again for the third time. This is nuts, actually. Holy crap. And then I will make Blade Armor Ninja. Or I can make... Or I could just make Excalibur. And have that be at 4k at, until the end of his turn. Yeah, this is... I think this is just better in case my OTK doesn't go through. That way this is just more of a threat that he has to answer. Yeah. Detach two materials, make this 4k. Activate Malevolent Sin. I have to banish the Onomaru. Um, unfortunately, I would like to be able to kill the Onomaru, but that wouldn't be lethal. So now, if I want to try and kill him this turn, I have to uh, kill the uh, Onomaru. It's 800, activate Sin. Well, here we go. Yoit, got him. Ixies, six Samurai. Pull him out the win, let's do another. No Shien needed. All right, we are going to say Jaden Ubel. We are going, we are going first. Oh, we're playing. He's, we're playing against the other transformation character from GX. We're the transformation character from Zexel. Zexel. Uh, so, I mean, I can United Dojo summon Fuma. Dojo summon another Fuma. Try and draw for Kizan. I think this is like the best play for me at the moment. Um, this is, I don't know. It's better than just summit, set Fuma Pass, I think. Um, well, we drew the... I hate that, dude. Like, I thin my deck by two Fumas, and I still draw the third Fuma instead of one of the other three keys on. Like, it's just like, it, it's possible to happen, but it's just the odds of it happening are just... The fact that it's so low is just so annoying. <sighs> I mean, <sighs> double removal. I can still technically trigger my skill if he puts me below 2k. If he resolves like Neos Fusion, there's Stratos, okay. You can Stratos to what? If he Stratos runs over Fuma, I'll take 16, summon Kizaru, search something. Okay, so he's gonna run over me. That's 
Very kind of you. Uh, summon Kazaru. Kazaru can't search Kizan, so I'm going to search Anishi. I'll search Anishi, and then that's Shien. I'll make Shien at the start of my turn, or start of my yeah, main phase. And then I can just negate any back row, and that should be the ball game, right? I could have technically activated um, United first, but I just wanted to make Shien as the first play, just to stop. I don't want to... Because once the priority passed to me, I get first action. Whereas if I activate United, he has a chance to do something. I guess technically it doesn't matter because I have Shien. But I just wanted to be extremely safe. And, uh, I mean, I just misplayed again because I didn't activate United first. But should not matter. I'm going to enter battle phase. I'm going to attack with the Shien. Toggle on. Yep, goes right to battle step. So I know there's no Sphere Kribo. I banish two. I bounce the Stratos. This technically lets him use Stratos again. But this should be 4200 for game. Cool. Nice. Six Samurai do doing what it does best. I mean, Shien Anishi is still as oppressive as ever. I don't think Sh Anishi could come back. Like, th if they want to give, if they want to throw Six Samurai a bone, I think they could put Anishi to one, which would allow you to play one Anishi and two Dojo instead of just one of each or two Dojo or two Anishi. So d Anishi to one would still make it so that Anishi isn't as common and you could play two Dojo, which would make it a tiny bit more consistent. Um, but even that I think might be too much like right here. I think it's perfect I think if they move it if they I think if they move the needle too much in one direction It's either gonna ruin the deck or just make it way too oppressive again. So with that being said, let's do, do another All right, we're gonna say Seto Kai, but he's on a win streak. Let's try and end it. We are going second Okay, so he's gonna make spirit turn one He has stone engraved stone in hand so he's going to have Spirit with Blue Eyes on the field and a, maybe a trap with Stone. So interesting. Very interesting. Uh, the ban list is in effect now, so there's no Melody and there's only one Azure. Or there's no Azure and there's only one Melody. Most likely one Azure. That's the most common way to play the new ban list deck. Summon Blue Eyes, pass turn, draw for turn. Backs to the wall. Okay, so this isn't awful. So... He goes Spirit, okay. Spirit summon Azure Eyes. Summon Blue Eyes from Grave. He goes Attack over 1, Attack for 3000, I back to the wall, Summon from Grave. Now I'll have United to draw 2, and Zexal and a draw for turn. Okay, so this is my only play here, I believe. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I can't, I can't Azure Eyes can't, I can't target these two because of Azure Eyes. He has stone in hand and one random draw. I think I can still do this. So ideally for us, he doesn't put Azure Eyes on attack. That's the best case. But if he does, we can still live. We'll just have one less monster. Okay, so he's putting Azure Eyes on attack. He's going to battle phase. So he'll attack. I'll take it. He'll attack. I'll take it. Because if I if I back to the wall first, I'll be at 100 life. He'll beat over whatever I summon and attack me for game. So if I take the hit first, now I back to the wall, put myself at 100 and live... Um, I'm not summoning this in attack because I cannot resolve dual wield because these two cannot be targeted So he only has one monster that can be targeted with dual wield so I cannot resolve it because I have to return two. Uh, so I'm going to Zexal Evolution Transform draw for turn Going to activate United to draw two more Okay, so now what do I do? I'm going to activate my skill Place one in change my life points to 2000 yes Normal summon United, or activate United. I'm going to normal summon Fuma. Chainlink 1, Secret. Chainlink 2, Dual Wield. I'm going to bounce. If I bounce these two to hand, he gets Poly, but I can negate the Poly, so that's fine. So I'll bounce these two to hand. Summon this. Uh, I'm going to activate United to maybe draw keys on. Okay, so there's that. I also have another dual wield, so I'm going to make Shien. I can t try to draw one more. No, I'm just going to call it there. I'm going to pass there. Uh, he has no target for Azure Eyes in the Grave. He has two Blue Eyes in hand, a Stone, and two Unknowns. So he can go Activate Skill, Attempt to Poly. I can try and Negate. Um, and then when he pushes further, I can dual wield to bounce two. So that's really nice. So that's poly to hand. I'm just going to negate this. 
No reason not to. If he has another way to summon Twin Burst, good for him, but I think I should be okay. Ancient Rules summon, sure. Ooh, that sucks. That's not awful. Uh, is it awful? Uh, so you can go chain to summon blue eyes and then normal summon stone. Make a level nine. Oh, I can make another azure eyes. Then he can't clear my Sheon. He can make a vermilion, but I can't pop. I'll protect with Fuma. Then he can attack over 200, summon a blue eyes in the end phase. Yeah. So he's a blue eyes in hand, one unknown. If he makes Verm, I protect with Fuma, and then he has to clear in battle, and I don't die. And then if I draw Kizan with United, then I make Utopia Ray and kill him. Yeah, I think this is looking good for us. This is looking pretty good. Nice. Nice. So I have, I have two keys on left in the deck. I have a draw for turn, two draws off of United after I summon Kazaru. So I have three draws to try and see one of my two keys on. So it's pretty likely. Okay, good. So if he was smart, he'd pop a back row. He'd pop the United and then beat over my Shien anyway. So we're, we're so uh, he could have played that better. We would have been worse off if he popped United because we would have had to have drawn exactly keys on. Or uh, technically Secret would have done it too. So yeah, okay, yeah. So we got... Secret off the top does it, exactly off the top, or drawing keys on does it as well. Um, now this is interesting. No, it, I'd rather hold the Anishi, because it doesn't matter, because I can't Anishi unless I have something else on the field. Ah, okay. Um, it sucks. God dang it. Secret off the top doesn't do it, because... Hmm. Yeah, because I, I it can only summon when I summon a secret six samurai. If he's smart, I'll target the back row. If he targets the back row, I can't activate it because I lose him. He'll attack over Kazaru. If he targets Kazaru, that's good. That's very good. So he targeted the back row. If I activated it, I'd be at 100. He beats over Kazaru, I lose. If I don't activate it, he beats over Kazaru, attacks directly, I lose. So him targeting Kazaru is best case scenario for us. He still doesn't have the alternative. This is getting really risky. Wait, why would he? Is he gonna tribute summon this? Don't tell me he's gonna tribute summon this. Don't do it. Why? Okay. GG, I win. Yeah, so Kazaru is a when you can, so this has to be summoned on Chainlink 1. So since he went Chainlink 2 Spirit, I Chainlink 2 backs to the wall. I summon Kazaru on Chainlink 2, and I cannot activate its effect. So he's going to Dragon Spirit of White, summon Blue Eyes, beat over Shien, most likely. Or he might just beat over the Kazaru to get rid of the rank 4s. Yeah, okay. In which case, I still have Anisha to bounce, and then I attack for game. Fuma. Yeah, so this is going to be the ball game here. Anishi Bounce uh, did not get to Utopia OTK, but this was still a good game. Still a very good game. Uh, we're going to win here on 100 life. Very anime. So let's do one more. Let's end on a Utopia kill. All right, we're up against Seto Kaiba. We're going first. This isn't ideal, but like we can prevent a Synchro Summon, I guess. Resorting back to Cosmo Brain, huh? Interesting. Uh, he can only summon Dragon Spirit of White if it's in his hand. Okay. I'll let him do that. Sure. It's fine. Yeah, I'll bounce. Ooh, it's a backs against the wall. Okay, so this is so I'm gonna summon Excalibur. I'm gonna hit him for a thousand. Now he can Cosmo Brain again, but Excalibur is going to be at 4k until the end of his turn. So if he like alternative pops it, that's one thing. But this might remain on the field. And even if he does clear it, I can backs against the wall to live, trigger my skill, and then I'll have another rank 4 play. So if he doesn't have... He, did, he didn't have any back row last turn, so he has to draw the back row here. Um, 
Excalibur is just going to clear the blue eyes and be a 4,000 body to set me up for my Utopia Ray OTK on the following turn. Nice. Twin Burst coming down, that's fine. You can also just wait and not have to do anything because I'll go back down to 2k life or 2k attack. And then I can't, then he can't die by battle. Okay, so he's going to go to battle phase and just banish it. Nice. I do not want to do this in battle phase because he can still attack again. So banish, go to end phase. And now I'll trigger back to the wall. And here is our Utopia OTK baby. Do that in his end phase on his turn. That way our skill triggers at the start of the turn. Draw for turn. Um, now I can make you... I'll, I'll activate my skill first, obviously. Place Utopia. Uh, Exceeds change tactics in the spell and trap zone. Make Utopia. Draw a card. I can go Fuma into Seeker into Shien. Just in case for whatever reason. Pay 5 to draw. Uh, normal summon. Special summon. So now I would have Utopia with Ray to negate any battle trap or anything, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, he could still technically have Sphere Creepo, I guess. Didn't have it last turn, though, because I attacked with Excalibur. I'll activate change tactics again to put me below that 1,000 attack threshold. I will Utopia Ray just detach one target. Detach two. Target. Detach three. Target. And that's going to be the ball game there, folks. Attack 4,000 to the face. And that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This deck is very fun. I think it's the best way to play the Zexel skill because Backs to the Wall gives you the fodder for the Utopia play and also triggers your skill at the same time. And you can use it twice once you set your skill back, your life back to 2,000, which is nuts because normally you would only, this would be like a last resort, hence the Backs to the Wall. So you'd be able to use it once to get as many summons as possible, but being able to then use it again is just absolutely nuts. And just like, even if you don't Utopia, you have Excalibur to OTK, you have uh, Blade Armor Ninja to OTK, you have Sheen to negate the back row, you can summon two Sheen even, which is crazy. So like, the deck is very fun. I encourage you all to try it if you have the resources. Um, you, like, you don't even, like, if you have the Sheen and the standard six Samurai core, you don't really need these if you're just going, you can just go for the Utopia Ray kill every turn. So, but you do need Utopia and Utopia Ray, unfortunately, um, because the skill does not give it to you, so you do have to go into that Shining Hope box and the uh, the box at the end of the year with uh, Star Seraphs. I forget the name. Um, but anyway, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your coffees. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.